One challenge you have when working with copper cables is something called crosstalk. You may see this abbreviated as XT for crosstalk. This is when you have a signal going across a wire that's causing interference on another wire. And that's something you don't want to have happen. It's a case where there may be a leaking of that signal. If you're working with analog type connections, you may have picked up a phone, for instance, and heard another signal on the phone along with the signal that you were supposed to hear. In many cases, that is a good example of actually hearing the crosstalk as that signal is leaking out of some copper connections and leaking into your connection. And now you're able to hear what you probably should not be hearing on that other phone line. One common way to measure crosstalk is with some cable testers. And they will send a signal across the cable, and they will tell you on that twisted pair connection how much of that signal are we hearing across the other wires on that single connection. There are a number of different measurements that you'll see for crosstalk. One very common one is called near-end crosstalk, or next. This is the interference that you're able to see when you plug in to a transmission line at the near end, this is where you're first putting the signal on the wire, how much crosstalk is there. And the signal is usually the most strongest right there when you're sending the signal out. So the near end crosstalk is going to give you a pretty good idea of exactly how much crosstalk you're going to have all the way through the line. You can, of course, measure it at the other end as well. We call that far end crosstalk, F-E-X-T. That's when we're measuring how much crosstalk we've gotten all the way away from the transmitter at the receiving end. That is your far end. And that's another interesting measurement that we'll be able to tell. There's another one called alien crosstalk. It's not what you're thinking. It is the AXT. That is interference that's coming from other cables that are alien to the connection that you happen to be using. And that's a really interesting crosstalk because you really should not be seeing any type of crosstalk from other types of cables. That's another important one to look at. An important ratio to help us understand how much signal's going through and how much crosstalk we're getting on that is something called an attenuation to crosstalk ratio, or an ACR. We measure how much of the signal we're putting right into the insertion point, and we also measure the near end crosstalk right there at that point. And we're able to tell how strong is the signal versus how much crosstalk we're getting out of the signal. You can think of this as a signal to noise ratio so that we can get an understanding of how much signal we can expect to see as that's going all the way down that particular connection. If you're getting significant crosstalk on a connection, you've put on your measurement equipment, you're seeing very high crosstalk, it's probably a connection problem. It's probably one where we don't have the right number of twists in our wire at a punch down block or perhaps inside of a connector. So check your crimps and check your punch downs to be able to do that. It is those twists inside of this twisted pair cable that minimizes the amount of crosstalk. If you look very closely even at this picture, you can see, for instance, within even a single bundle of cables that you have a different amount of twists across different pairs. And so the orange twists here have a different type of twist than the green pairs. Every set of pairs within that twisted pair cable has a different number of twists associated with it. And that's what helps us keep that crosstalk down as the traffic goes through the connection. Interestingly enough, category 6A cable, the standard even increased the amount of room inside of the cable. There's some spacers inside of it that keep the cables even further, those pairs further away from each other, so that it minimizes the amount of crosstalk you might have because they're farther apart. And of course, you should always test your installations. Have some type of equipment that's powerful enough, that's smart enough that you can plug in that can measure these near end crosstalks, these far end crosstalks, and give you an understanding of just how much of that signal might be moving from one wire to the other.